So we've seen a geometrical approach to deriving the small angle approximations. In this video, I want to show you how you can get to the small angle approximations using uh, McLaren series or uh, the special case of the Taylor series. Now, if you've seen um, my previous video on expanding uh, the binomial expansion concept, um, then you will have seen me use the Taylor series already. Um, if not, what this is, is a way of approximating um, a function, a given function, using a polynomial. And you can effectively choose to do it around any point you like. That's called the Taylor series. For the special case where we are looking at where x is 0, that's called the Maclaurin series. Okay, it's a special case. Now, what I'm going to show you is how we can do this um, and get to those small angle approximations algebraically. So, if f of x is sine x, then what I'm going to need is f prime, f double prime, um, but what we do with the small angle approximations is to ignore anything um, that is x cubed or greater than that. Okay, We don't need anything further than uh, x squared. Okay, um, That's because they, uh, by that point, because we're working with small angles here, once you go beyond squaring, going into cubing, the angle is so small by that point, because you've cubed it, um, that it becomes negligible. Okay, so we don't worry about going up to the cubic term and beyond. Okay, we just go up to the squared term. Um, so f of x is sine x to start off with. I'm going to need f prime and f double prime, so the first and second derivatives. Now sine x differentiates to cosine, and cosine differentiates to minus sine. Okay, now we need f of 0, we need f prime of 0, and f double prime of 0. Now sine of 0 is just 0, and cos of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0, so that's just 0 anyway. Okay, so what we get is that sine x is approximately f of 0, which is 0, plus f prime of 0, 1, times x, uh, plus f double prime of 0, so 0 over 2 factorial x squared. Okay, and so what we get is that sine x is just approximately x, and that is my small angle approximation for sine or sine of theta is approximately theta, okay? So that is how it works for sine. So for cosine, we have a similar story. So if f of x is cos x, then f prime is minus sine, and f double prime is minus cos. So f of 0 will be 1, f prime of 0 will be 0, and f double prime of 0 will be minus 1. So cosine of x will be approximately f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial x squared. And so cos x is approximately 1 take away a half x squared, or cos of theta is approximately 1 minus a half uh, theta squared. So precisely the same um, small angle approximation as we got in the previous video geometrically. So finally, 
we have tan. Now, tan's always a little bit more difficult differentiating, okay? So, tan x, we should know differentiates to sec squared x, okay? But now we need to differentiate sec squared, okay? Which is always going to be a problem. Right, so, what is the derivative of sec Okay, because if I know the derivative of sec, I could use um, chain rule or product rule, okay, from then on. So this is the derivative of 1 over cos. Okay, now you could also use the chain rule here, or you could use the quotient rule. I'm going to use the quotient rule. So that's the bottom times the derivative of the top. Take away the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So what have we got there? We've got uh, sine x over cos squared x. So that's the same as sine over cos times 1 over cos, which is the same as tan times sec. So we know that sec x differentiates to tan x sec x. So if I've got um, the derivative of sec squared x, then using the chain rule, the 2 can come down to the front, multiplied with the derivative of sec x, which is tan x sec x, multiplied by sec x now to the power of 1. So it'll, I'll get 2 tan x sec squared x. Okay, so that's the derivative of sec squared. So then f of 0 is just going to be 0 tan of 0 is 0. Now, f prime of 0, sec squared of 0, so that's 1 over cos squared of 0, so that's 1 over 1, that's just 1. And f double prime of 0, well, tan of 0 is 0, so that whole thing's going to be 0. So we can say that tan x is approximately equal to f of 0 plus f prime of 0, plus f double prime of 0 uh, over 2 factorial x squared. And so tan x is approximately x. And so we have our three small angle approximations as we found geometrically in the previous video, but now found algebraically using Taylor series or McLaren series.